Okay, so um, in this tutorial we're going to work with Swift. <clears throat> this is my first project tutorial working with Swift. And we're going to make a little card game. We're going to the game of war. We're going to make that and we'll make a nice layout for it and everything. So I'm going to uh, go to Xcode, going to um, uh, create a new Xcode project. All right, we're in iOS application. We'll go um, single view, hit next. Uh, I'm going to call this uh, War, since that's what it is, we can call it War Swift, all right? Um, this, you know, whatever your organization is, usually I do com.organization. Uh, we're going to work with Swift, so we'll select that as the language. We'll go iPhone, we'll hit Next. Um, save it wherever you feel comfortable saving it, and I hit Create. And there we go, so we have our um, new project which is a Swift project. Bring this up so you can see it. And uh, let me see. So the one thing I've, I do want to do, um, I've gotten a habit of doing this, because there will be some animation eventually with this, is we want to... Uh, hold on a second. Why is it not letting me do it? Yeah, I want to take off auto layout. Uh, anytime you work with animation, I've noticed that uh, auto layout kind of gets in the way and causes some problems. Um, all right, so what we're going to do next is we're going to get right into some of the programming with this. So to program, you're going to go into the view controller. That's Swift, right? And we're going to. I have some code here that I'm going to use. So I have little shortcuts. So let me. I'm going to grab this little chunk of code here, and I'll kind of describe what it does. So in our view did load, which remember that gets called um, when you load the when you first come into the uh, application, right? Okay, so I'm getting those errors because I had I forgot that I made this actual um, screen uh, the screen class variable screen width and screen height. Um, they are of type float, so you do the if it's not an integer, you have to do this. Um, you put the colon, then the type equals, and I'm just setting it to default value to start out with, 0.0. .0. And then this will override that with the size of the screen and the height of the screen, Okay, the width and the height. And that's going to be useful because we want this to be able to work no matter what type of screen size we're using. Well, it's the iPhone 6 Plus, the iPhone 5, 4, whatever. Um, it'll adjust to the screen, which is important nowadays. You know, even taking into account the iPad, this are we want to make it so that it adjusts to whatever screen um, it's being used on. So I'm also creating this label, and this is some standard Swift programming where you again you're using the the var keyword, um, calling it label, and we're subtype UI label, and you see the we're going to make it. We use a CG rec make to give the starting coordinates and then the end coordinates. And we're going to go the whole width of the screen. Um, that's you know, putting in the use that screen width variable. And then we just want it to be 70, though, in height. Okay, So um, we're going to align it center. The text will be centered. Um, the background, we're given this uh, blue color. Uh, we're going to say, um, uh, let's call it Game of War. All right, that makes sense. Given it a font type, Melvecchia, um, text color, white, and then we lastly add it to the view. Okay, so let's see what happens here. I'm going to actually um, let's put this on an iPhone 6, let's say, and we'll hit run. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, come on. So there it is. We got our kind of our uh, top header for our app, which is a nice thing to have if you're making an app. You should have it at the top of every screen, something that identifies you know where you are in your app and what the name of it is. Uh, so we're actually going to add a little more here. I'm going to put a little icon here for um, settings, and then we'll add the icon um, for the app itself. So I have these, I have this set of images which we're going to use for this app, um, which I will put in the description of this. Um, of this tutorial in the YouTube description. So I'm going to go ahead and let me drag these into our program. Actually, these, 
I'm going to drop them in the supporting files. Make sure copy items is in there. Hit finish. So that's in there. I want this. This is the gear I'm talking about. That's kind of going to be our um, settings button. We'll get to that down the road. And then I have this whole folder of all the cards that we're going to use. Okay. Um, this is a royalty free card pack that I found. Uh, copy and finish. All right, so we have all the images that we'll need throughout the, the creating of this program. Um, let me show you, though. Uh, so this is going to be a uh, probably about four or five tutorials to complete this. Um, I don't like them to go too long, so I try to cut them up. But I'm going to show you one more thing um, that we're going to do here. So we're actually going to go to the storyboard for a second. And, you know, nothing's showing up on the storyboard because our... our uh, label at the top is actually done programmatically. So I'm going to add a button now. I'm going to just drag this over. All right, and I'm going to actually, let's go in here to our um, inspector, and we're going to get rid of the word button. And we're actually going to um, put in, uh, we'll make it custom, and we will add a image, okay? Um, could do it either way. We could add it as a background. I'm going to add it as a foreground. Um, all right, something like that. Now I'm going to show you how it doesn't really matter. I didn't have to resize it. We're going to make this um, an outlet. Let's go ahead and create a little space here. And remember in Swift, you don't have to worry about the H and the M file. Just do it right into the file. I'm holding down the control key and click and drag. And um, it's an outlet, and we're going to call it button one, let's say. Okay. All right, so we have our button one. Now I'm going to show you how you can then programmatically move that around the screen to where you want it to go. So it's easier just to throw it on there so you know you got it right. You don't have to worry about that coding. But I'll show you how we can go. Yeah, is this it? Yeah, this is the code I want. Copy that. And then right underneath here. I'm going to say button one, which is the name of our outlet, dot frame, dot size. I'm going to resize it um, 35 by 35. Um, I could even size that differently based upon I could do something, you know, if screen size certain thing, then make it a certain size. Um, if screen width, I, uh, we can use that. That way we know which phone we're increasing and decreasing it based on the phone in use or the uh, device in use. I'm not going to get into that right now. Um, I showed you kind of how you can do that up here with the screen width. Okay. Um, so then we're going to um, say where to place this. So we make a point, CG point. Um, and here I am using the screen width. And I'm going to do um, make it. So I'm going to make the X value uh, that's on you know the horizon here. I'm going to make that go to the screen width um, minus the button width plus 20, which would should bring us back from the side so it's not off the screen. And then I'm going to go down 20. Um, then lastly, I add it to the sub view. So let, let's see what that looks like now. Stop this. And let's hit play. And there we go. There's our button right over here. Okay. And eventually we'll get to make some settings with that. And you can click that. It'll take you to a screen and maybe turn off sound or, you know, something like that. All right, um, so I'm going to stop that. For right now, this is all I want to show you. In the uh, next tutorial, we'll get more into the actual gameplay. Um, so I look forward to the next tutorial in probably the next day or two. Um, thanks, and subscribe.